back to the Dredawa International Stadium for a battle between Arbanich Keteva and Dredawa Keteva as your World of Champions brings you more action of March Day 12 of the 2021-2022 Bet King Ethiopian Premier League. In two sides separated by just two points, come here not just uh, in search for bragging rights in their ninth league meeting, but also searching for maximum points. Miscued by Bernardo Chen. Luckily for him, Ashinami Fida was watching. It's now plotted forward. The flag has stayed down. Put it before number one. No, what a chance. Poor defensive clearance there from the Albami defenders there. And that run, quality control there by Abdurrahman Muberek. Well, you expect that he's already fast touch. It's absolutely fantastic. But look at the goalkeeper. The moment the goalkeeper comes in and closes you down, then it just change, makes you change your mind. But that's that glorious opportunity that has been lost. We will find those chances and this time running into the area. Could Arbanich take the lead? No, they can't. A uh, fantastic run in. Uh, this we could have ended anywhere by a Mubeka Shamil. Oh, that is the quality run. It beats the first one, beats the second one, beats the third one, beats the fourth one. And at this point, just a little touch on him would have definitely sent Abu Bakr uh, Shamil down. But that is quality. That is poor quality. And of course, with Pelé gets a lacking in there, he should have converted. You must have predatory instincts in the box. And there goes my chance. There is the fight. Oh! oh, good ball into the box. When we just talked about it, patience of a crocodile and one simple move. That's a good shot. That is a good one coming in from none other than Muna Bekele. And it finds Erika Pite in the right position with the right distance. But contact, contact, the right contact would have actually pushed him to three goals. A chance to try and break forward. An opportunity for Abdul Rahman Mubarak. 2020 goal from Ajanabi Fida. Crashing through the center. Good partnership between him and Mohedin Musa. Mohedin Musa stepping away at the last minute. And Ajanabi Fida in the right place as we look at that through ball from the center. Looking from Abdul Rahman Mubarak. A bit of miscommunication between two Dredawa players. But uh, the shot 18 if they could have been the one on the score sheet. And Zabel Kebede stepped away and Samson Asefa awaited. Erika Paito. To Ramkel Lock. Twisting and turning, looking to bring a pass into the area and went for a shot instead. Oh, what a strike from Ramkel Lock. Surprise, surprise. Trail Geta Hundo stood firm. Look at that. First control, second, he turns the defender in and out, and a good shot. Ferocious. It was actually heading into the upper 90. Again, that man, Piro Getahun, just punching it over the bar. Arba Minch on the offensive. Ashanavi Fida has joined in. Floats this one into the area. Could they score? Daniel Demisje. And then a big chance. Fernando Chieng, a central defender with so much space inside the box, and then let fly. And another save from Ferro Getahun. Well, again, he failed to deal with it, and uh, Hailu just trying to clear the ball. And again, this time round, he just falls into the path of Bernard Chiang. Again, goalkeeper again, for the second time in one minute, saves them blushes. And uh, coach Mamadou Sedibe in the center, and Mamad oh. Abdul Retif on the right for Dredawa. And Rahman Mubarak, not given chance to run into the area. Now here he is once again. Could this be a Dredawa moment? Oh, that was a big one. Big, big chance for Abdul Rahman Mubarak. And he couldn't threat this one to any of the teammates who are rushing into the area. Glorious opportunity. Glorious opportunity. The angle is extremely tight. And I think he wants to get the upper 90. Just far forward. That's exactly where he wants this ball to go to. Here comes the right back. Muna delivers this one into the area. Looking for chances. Belal Geza and missed it. Another Cheng is complaining to the referee, suggesting there was infringement. And the referee is not happy with the Kenyan. And if he gives him that card, now that will be red. Because he's picked up a yellow card earlier on today. And the Kenyan international goes for a late shower. Red card. And that was because of uh, dissent. Another Cheng went into the referee, punching the air twice. Suggesting it should have been a penalty in the final few minutes. And instead of Arbabich getting a penalty, they now have a man left. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. We certainly have. What has lacked in this picture is been goals. Because Arba Mitch and Redawa have ended goals.